go to create a sketch select the top plane select a circle make a circle here with 64 millimeters of diameter create another one here with 22 millimeters and another one here with 22 millimeters go to constraints horizontal vertical click in the circle and the midpoint in the circle in the midpoint okay select the sketch dimension the distance between the two circle here is 84 millimeters and the distance between this circle and this point is 42 millimeters okay select the line make a line between the circle okay go to constraint select tangent make the line tangent with the both circles okay and this side too okay go to trim cut here cut here sorry here no cut here cut here 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 ah we can cut here sorry we have this cat okay select the circle make a circle here with 30 millimeters of distance of geometer and create a circle here with 10 millimeters of geometer and another circle here with 10 millimeters of jump okay finish the sketch go to extrude select this sketch here extrude this six millimeters operation new body press okay we have this sketch here okay now go to create a sketch select this face here select a circle click here in this point make a circle here with 42 millimeters of geometer okay select a line make a line here and create another line here this point is the tangent point here okay and the tangent point here oh, sorry let me delete this we have this we have this profile here and this profile here okay finish the sketch go to extrude select this profile here and this profile here extrude this seven millimeters operation join press okay we have this okay now go to preference go to design and select the all 3d sketching of lines and splines click here activities apply and press ok now we can make a 3d sketch okay so go to create a sketch select this plane here select a line click here in the midpoint make a line here with 75 millimeters okay now we can move this click in this plane here we are sketching this plane now the angle is 45 degrees and the distance here is 40 millimeters press ok we have this sketch here okay go to modify select fillet select this line and this line here the fillet here is 25 millimeters of radius press ok we have this finish the sketch now go to create and select pipe the section circular the path is this path here okay the section size 42 millimeters and the section thickness 7 millimeters operation join press okay we have this to see that is correct you go to inspect the jumper here is 30 millimeters is 28 so the pipe is wrong oh, sorry the section thickness here is 6 millimeters press okay let's see if it's 30 millimeters of jumper okay 30 millimeter here let's see here 30 millimeters of jumper press okay you have this let me see let me expect here section size of this plane here okay we have this sketch okay 
Now go to Construct Offset Plane. Select this plane here. Make an offset here 32 minus 32 millimeters. Press OK. Create a sketch. Select this new plane here. Select a circle. Make a circle here with 40 millimeters of diameter. And create another one here with 80 millimeters. OK. Go to sketch dimension. The distance between this point and this point here is 22.5 millimeters. And go to constraint, select horizontal vertical, click on this point and this point here. OK. Finish the sketch. You have this. Go to extract. Select this profile here. The extended type to object. Select this object. Operation join, extend, select it to add same space and press OK. We have this. Now show the sketch again, the sketch 4. Go to extra, select this side sketch here and make a cut here with 16 millimeters, 20 millimeters, OK. And press OK. We can hide this. Now go to create and select pattern, circular pattern. The object type is the features, and the feature is these two features here, the last two extra. Okay, the object. The axis selected the, the circle here, this face, and the quantity is for distribution full press ok we have this ok now go to modify select the chamfer select this z here this z this z here and this z the chamfer here is one millimeters press ok we have this ok Now go to create a sketch, select this face here. Okay, let's make a zoom here. Select the circle, click here in the center of the circle, okay. Make a circle here with 58 millimeters. Okay, now active the construction line type, click here. Make a circle with 54 millimeters. OK, we have this two circle here, 58 and 54. Select the circle again, make a circle here with, it is not a construction line type, with 6 millimeter of jumper. OK, go to create, select circular patterns, select this circle here. The center point, select this line here. The quantity is 3, press OK. Go to constraints, horizontal vertical, click in this point here and this point. OK. We have this, OK. Now select this circle again. Click in this point, make a circle with 16 millimeters of diameter and here to 16 millimeters and here to 16 millimeters okay now select line make a line between this two circle here and this circle this line must be tangent with the circles okay Go to constraint, select the tangent, select this line in the circle, this line in this circle here. Make all the this line is tangent with the circles, okay? Now go to trim. We can cut here, cut here, cut here. Cut here, okay, cut here, here. 
that here. I cut out this this line just to show the sketch for you, okay? Let me put the dimension here. Let me trim here, sorry. Maybe sometimes it is less the No, this line is not tangent, sorry. Okay, we have this sketch, finish the sketch, select this profile here. Go to extrude, extrude this to this side here, six millimeters, minus six millimeters, operation join, and press OK. We have this, okay? And here we finish our exercise. So thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more and bye-bye.